After 40 years of traveling in the desert, the Jewish nation was finally on the verge of entering Eretz Yisrael. The land would be apportioned to each tribe, divided by family. At this pivotal juncture, members of the tribes of Gad and Reuven asked Moshe for permission to stay on the other side of the Jordan and not live in Eretz Yisrael. They argued that the land was more suitable for their cattle. Then they added that they could build cities for their children. Although this request was quite practical and well-intended, Moshe found fault with them for making it. But Midbar Rabbah 22.9 reveals that God and Reuven had skewed priorities. The Medrash analyzes the way that they expressed their request. They first mentioned their physical possessions, their cattle. Then they talked about their children. As a result, the Medrash contends that they confused what was primary with what was secondary, stating they appreciated their money more than the souls of their families. Indeed, for this reason, the Medrash adds that Moshe subtly reversed the order that they used in his response. But Midbar 32.24 says, Build for yourselves cities for your children and enclosures for your flocks. The Medrash is telling us that God and Ruvain put too much value on material matters and not enough on spiritual matters. Romaniel Bernstein, citing Rav Shimon Schwab, notes that God and Ruvain identified themselves based on their professions and what they owned. It is true that Torah requires one to be occupied with earning a living, but one should never become preoccupied with it. This was their mistake. Similarly, Rav Samson Raphael Hirsch indicates that their premature grasping at the land and their misaligned priorities caused them to be the first tribes to lose their possessions in homeland due to exile. See Divrei Hayamim 1526. Moshe compared God and Ruvain to the spies, who were the root cause for the long extension of the nation's journey in the desert. The spies and those like them had the wrong priorities and the entire nation suffered as a result. In comparison, those like Moshe, who prioritized others and always put spiritual matters above physical matters, helped build the nation into what it is today. As we live life, this lesson should help us better appreciate what we personally and communally ought to prioritize. We should merit to place our spiritual acquisitions ahead of our financial ones and diligently strive to care for our fellow Jews.